super queen. Just went home, girl. The choppery. She had three wins under her belt. Chopped. That is a gag. Ah! The goop. And um, I'm living for it. Tents across the board. Tense. That was wild. It was really no. bitch. I feel guilty because she was like in the bottom. That was her first time ever in the bottom. So that must be a gag feeling, but. Why don't you erase this and we can talk okay, about it? Got it. Yeah, quickly. Clearly, this is your first time, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rookie. Lean into it. There you go. Ah! I have been giving my all this entire time, and it feels good to finally prove I am a threat and I can do more than turn a look. I am such a good performer. Honestly, I really am. <laughs> okay, I just gotta just get it get all it out. out. Just get it get out, bitch. Get it out, bitch. First of all, I am like, I'm gagged. The gooper. That vanilla is gone. Like, I was like, this bitch was her first time in the bottom, and she had won the most challenges. The goop. No, bitch, we were. <laughs> Manila deserved to be in the competition to the, like, so far to the end. According to her track record. Her track record. <laughs> Girl, I'm just gagged. I definitely think that up until now, the eliminations have been pretty fair. But now it's all out the window. I mean, girl, Manila just got ran over, bitch. I just gotta get comfortable. <laughs> Let's get serious. Uh, okay, <laughs> Give it to shady me. princess. <laughs> like, what was your reasoning? I think a lot of different reasons. Yes, Manila has been doing so well in the competition, but I don't know if she necessarily has my back. I sent Manila home because I wanted to. Manila was crazy competition, and that's dope. But I decided to save Latrice because I owe it to her. She saved my ass last week. If it looks shady, so be it. I have a close relationship with you, so I chose you. Thank you so much. I love Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you, too. How do you feel about Manila going home when she was a wreck because she couldn't save you? I bet you we mean a wreck. She was Girl. sobbing. Sashay away. Thank you all. <laughs> I mean, so like, that's You want to win, bitch? I Say do. It. I know I want to win, but I Big really, dog. really saw her here with me through to the end, you know what I mean? It comes down to someone has to go, and if it's me or her, like, you know, of course I want to stay. My love has never wavered for her. I just, we can't have it both ways. I want to know who Monet picked. Yes, bitch, it's tax season, show the receipt. I chose Manila's ass too. Because she, Manila, <laughs> Vanilla shaded me. Sorry, girl. And even though we had to resolve our issues and we spoke, bitch, I'm a petty bitch from Brooklyn. I hold on to grudge. Hashtag team petty, bitch. I'm petty, girl. Vanilla played a shady game, and it got her out, girl. Like, she was willing to send me home to save her friend. So I am not hesitant to show these girls this lipstick. I wish I would have done it on stage. I would not have given a backstory, no explanation. This my lipstick. Look, hold up. Okay, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just like all kinds of everywhere. I think that you are living for this <laughs> more she's than okay. she's living for it. No, <laughs> she loves no. her drama. Listen, this is shady. This is some shady. No, it's not no, shady. Listen, let me finish what I'm saying. You are a f shady bitch for doing that. Why? And you're a f shady bitch for doing that. But thank you so much. <laughs> I think we're realizing that this competition now, we're not going to be judging it fairly, because what's fair? Right. Life's not fair. Life's not fair. So, bitch, good it. luck, and you you cross me, you going home next. Just yeah. to be clear. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Manila went home because she was competition. And at this point, I am tied with Monet for the most wins in the competition. 
So, girl, I might be next on the chopping block. Stunning! Well, Keisha, tie your ass to the grocery store and give me some tampons. <laughs> I don't trust none of these hoes. I mean, they sick, but they love hoes. No one is safe. So, the only way to be safe is to be in the top. RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars receives a one-year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics, a coveted spot in the Drag Race Hall of Fame, and a cash prize of $100,000. With extra special guest judges, Felicity Huffman and Jason Wu. It's a new day in the workroom, and we are finally, finally at the top five. It feels so good. Well, we are at the final, like the ending, girl. Like yeah. we're coming up on the finish line. Finish line. Hey. This is the top five I had envisioned. I prayed and I said, Jesus, I want a highly melanated top. And, you know, she's had black in her, so. <laughs> yeah, Trinity, what's it like to be white? She already done had hers. Ladies, at Brunch with Friends, funny how quickly the conversation turns to sex, maple bacon, and sequels. Still, I couldn't help but wonder, who are these queens? And what the hell are they doing up in my movie? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Hello, hello, hello. Ah! Ladies, look at my top five all-stars. <laughs> now today, we're paying tribute to a true pop culture phenomenon an iconic TV and film series that is beloved by girls and gays around the globe. Drag race? <laughs> <laughs> For this week's Maxi Challenge, you'll be overacting in a Rue Hollywood story about a movie sequel we're calling Sex and the Kitty Girl 3. Oh, yes! Sex and the Kitty Yes, honey. Hashtag All Stars 4. Starring in a dishy mockumentary that includes both shady behind the scenes drama and scripted movie scenes. Now you'll each parody one of the sequel's stars. Now there's SJP, who plays the fashion crazed New York City columnist. There's Kristen, who plays her prissy art dealer friend. Cynthia, who plays the sassy, cynical lawyer. And then there's Kim, who plays the oversexed publicist. And then there's Keijo, who's back to reprise her role as the 80s party girl who fell out of the window. Splat. <laughs> <laughs> now, to help you get into character, you can use hair by Rockstar Wigs. Now, you'll all get a copy of the script, but Naomi, since you were last week's top all-star, you get to assign the roles. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> we are just one week away from the grand finale of All Stars 4. So keep calm and carry on. <laughs> yes. Oh, and uh, while you're at it, start your engine and may the best all-star win. <laughs> hey, Katie girl. <laughs> it's your sex. Sex in the City acting moment, girl. Sex in the Kitty I love Sex in the City. I've seen every episode five times over. I'm always quoting it with all my friends. I put a bird on my head. He couldn't even get out the car. Are you guys ready to go see the script? Yeah. Yes, come on. Let's do it. Hey, Joe, who's she? Now, I really don't know a whole lot about the show, but I surely know that she was not one of the main four. She's a friend that came in at the mess. She's old. Yeah. 
party girl. I was still living at home with my mom then. No, we didn't have cable. She didn't want me watching HBO because she didn't want me to look at naked women. Maybe a boob or two would have helped me, you know? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'll choose Sarah Jessica Parker, SJP. Uh-uh. I'm going to take the biggest part for myself because at this point in the competition, everyone here is trying to win just like me. And I'm trying to show the judges that I am here, I am present, I deserve a crown. So I have to play to win. I want to be Kojo. I would love Kim. I would love Kim as well. Is there a reason why one of you guys would love Kim? I just feel like I... Because I'm the older, slutty, sexy one. I don't know much about Sex in the City, but I really want Kim because I relate to the role. Kim is a cougar. She's still sleeping with everybody. That is me in 30 years, bitch. I want Kim. Girl, me too. I feel like I can be very slutty as well. And also, I just feel like my voice lends itself to Kim. I feel like that's what's calling yeah, me. Yeah, she does kind of sound you know, right. mannish. Very. I love Sex in the City. It's one of my favorite shows to watch. And I know I can do a better Kim than Trinity. Her pacing of the way she speaks, you know, it's very, mm, ooh, mm, mm. You're comfortable playing anybody else? No, I'm comfortable playing Kim. <laughs> we can flip a coin. Rocks is a paper. It's a challenge. A rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, rock, Some paper, three. scissors over there. Girl, all I know is there's a bunch of snakes in here. And the only way to stay in this competition for me is to be in the top this week. And I think Kim is my best chance to win. Best two out of three. OK. OK, best two out of three, here we go. Hi everyone, it's me, legend, icon, and star, Trixie Mattel. Now you don't want to miss a second of RuPaul's Drag Race, so subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel to get the latest and greatest in your inbox. Love yourself and do it already.